Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. Today, I'm looking at Tyrannosaurus Rex from Zoo. What are you doing? It's not your bit until the end. <laughs> Moody? What have you eaten anyway? Welcome to Fragmental Park. If you haven't heard of zoologists before, they create fragrances that are inspired by animals or the habitats or environments in which they live. Their latest release is Tyrannosaurus Rex. I've been working from a sample of this. I purchased a sample just to try it out and I quickly realised that I didn't need to spray much of this on for each wearing. It's pretty bold and potent juice. So one or two sprays max is enough. So I thought I had a sufficient quantity of juice in this sample to put together a full review for you. So here it is. I'm gonna start off by saying that the note that dominates this fragrance for me is Cade Oil. Cade Oil provides this burning accord and it's not a, a cozy by the fireplace type of burning wood scent that you might get from Maison Margiela's By the Fireplace or even imaginary author's memoirs of a trespasser. This isn't a cozy curl up by the fire type of burning. This is an intense burning. It doesn't take over the whole scent and completely bully the other notes into submission, but it is very prominent. Speaking of the other notes, let's have a look at them. In the top, we've got bergamot, black pepper, fir, laurel leaf, neroli and nutmeg. In the heart, champaca, geranium, jasmine, rose, osmanthus, ylang ylang. And in the base, resins, cade, cedar, civet, frankincense, leather, vanilla, sandalwood and patchouli. So I don't really get many of those top notes in the opening. I do get a little bit of fur, which is there perhaps to represent the fauna or foliage from T-Rex's environment. For me, it goes straight to the heart of the fragrance. And in the heart, you've got a wonderful composition of florals. There's geranium, jasmine, and osmanthus. They are there, albeit fairly subtle. The note that really stands out in the heart of this fragrance, which is the, the beating heart of this fragrance, is the rose. I believe this is rose oxide, which really cleverly provides us with this captivating blood Accord, which obviously is there to represent T-Rex and T-Rex being a predator and obviously shedding a lot of blood to survive. Now this blood accord, it might sound like something maybe you don't want to smell in a fragrance, but it is quite an interesting note. It's quite captivating. If you have ever bitten the inside of your mouth and you bleed a little bit and you taste that almost metallic blood, well, it's a scent that is similar to that. So for me, the heart of this fragrance is the blood accord. So you've got a few florals, quite subtle. You've got this blood accord, and then it's all wrapped up in this burning cade oil. The florals sit delicately on the base notes. There's some civet and leather, providing a real good animalic punch and plenty of depth. We also have frankincense, and whenever there's frankincense in a fragrance, it really draws me in. It provides this smooth, deep, sensual accord, and it does just that here in T-Rex. In the base, we also have vanilla, patchouli, and sandalwood, and they provide a touch of sweetness and smooth out the whole composition really nicely. As it dries down, the potency of this scent settles a little bit, but it does remain very bold throughout its life. The imagery this conjures is of a volatile earth of blood and death and fire, but also of florals and fauna. The first time I sprayed this scent, it's a pretty intense experience. I thought, could I actually wear this? Is it too bold? Is it just something that I would wear when I'm just in the house on my own, purely to appreciate the artistry of the composition? It reminded me of the first time I smelled Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud a while ago. And when I first smelled that, and I had read things about that scent, that it could be quite challenging and it wasn't for everyone. I first sprayed Tobacco Oud and I thought, oh yeah, that's, that's quite intense. It's quite challenging. But let me tell you, compared to the beast that is T-Rex, Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud is the equivalent of a cute 
fluffy little kitten. I dared to wear this one for work. It's perhaps not the most appropriate work scent, especially if you're working in quite close proximity to other people. But I find it useful because I do come into contact with a lot of people and it's just a good way of gauging what people think about a fragrance. I never ask people what they think. I always wait for the comments to come to me and they know that I'm wearing a lot and I'm testing them. So they do comment and let me know whether they like something or whether they don't like something. So T-Rex did elicit a comment. I'd even go as far as to say it was a compliment. The girl who mentioned it said that she thought it was pretty pleasant and different. I think it was the fact that it was interesting and complex which really um, captured her attention. She didn't dislike it at all. She, uh, she said it was pretty pleasant but her main thing was that it was a different scent. So this is one of those scents that does captivate people and because it is so different, because it is so complex, because a lot of people perhaps aren't used to smelling these complex style fragrances, it is interesting and it makes them want to ask questions about it. Also note that I may have oversprayed. This is bold and potent stuff. You don't need more than one, maybe two sprays and it'll still be projecting massively and it'll last a really long time as well. If you overspray this one, people are going to be running away from you like they're being chased by a T-Rex and pretty soon all compliments are going to become extinct. If applied lightly, this is a beautifully complex and interesting fragrance. It is unisex, so anyone could wear this. In terms of the age, I'd say this is more of a mature, bold fragrance, so 25 plus, if not even a little bit older than that, perhaps. You could wear this as a formal occasion scent or an evening scent, but I think it's just a bit too much for a casual day scent or a work scent or maybe even a date scent where things are getting a little bit more intimate. The projection on this is a massive three hours and the longevity for me is 10 hours plus. So this is a beast of a performer. This scent is almost unpleasant, but it manages to expertly tread that fine line between love and hate. My brain tells me that I should hate this, but zoologists have conjured up some kind of olfactory alchemy with this one and you just want to keep coming back for more. It's that complex and that well crafted, you need to keep smelling it and appreciating it. It's bold, it's complex, it's captivating, expertly crafted, artistic but still wearable. My favourite from Zoologist is Camel, I absolutely adore it. But for me, Tyrannosaurus Rex comes a really close second. I love it. So thank you to Victor Wong from Zoologist and the nose behind this one, Antonio Gardoni, for crafting such a wonderfully fierce and exciting scent. Okay, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed my take on Zoologist Tyrannosaurus Rex. If you've tried this scent, I'd love to know what you think of it. Leave some comments down below. Also, let me know what your favorite from Zoologist is. I'd love to hear that as well. Thanks for watching everybody. And until next time, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good. I'm off to check if the electricity's back on yet. Guess not.